Hi everyone and welcome to our channel Plan Free. I'm Lori. And I'm Air. We've been house sitting since 2015. We've done over a dozen house sits in five different countries. We're going to share with you our best house sitting tips for house sitters on how to get more house sits more often and more desirable house sits. Our tip number one for house sitters to gain more house sits is to suggest a video call with your potential homeowners. Yeah, this often goes above and beyond their expectations, which is a good start for you immediately. And it also helps you to gain a homeowner's trust. Oftentimes, if they can look at you digitally in the eye, they can get a better sense of who they're interacting with, and it can go a long way for you to be selected for this house sit. The video call has frequently been the difference for us between being selected and not being selected, and it will be for you as well. Tip number two for house sitters is to present yourself like you would for a job interview. Dress appropriately and professionally. Do the things that you normally do with your personal grooming to look presentable and clean. Homeowners of desirable house sit locations will often have many applicants to choose from and going these little extra steps can often mean the difference in being selected or not. Putting your best foot forward will only increase your probability of being chosen for the house sit that you want. Tip number three for you is to ask the homeowner to clearly communicate their expectations of you. Once they've done that, if it's above and beyond what you are anticipating, be prepared to ask the owner if they are willing to negotiate on some of these points. If yes, be ready to go back and forth and tweak these points a little bit. And oftentimes with just a little bit of adjustment here and there, you both can come to an arrangement that's uh, gonna work out well for both of you. If and when you get to the point where the homeowner takes you through their home and its procedures and how to run it, ask them for permission if you can record their instructions. This often will be a good sign to the homeowner, one that they weren't expecting. And for you, it will give you something to refer back to in an event that something happens in a minor detail that you couldn't remember verbally and you'll be able to more successfully run their home. Also, it shows the homeowner that you're taking their house sit seriously which will be a good thing for you. Which leads us to our final tip number five is to care for this home as if it were your own. We have found this to be the best way of looking at these house sitting arrangements. It is. We think that if you use these tips that we've described in this video in your approach to house sitting, that you'll get more house sits more often and you'll have a better success rate in getting selected on the desirable house sits that you really, really want. We want to wish you the best of luck going forward in your house sits. We want to hear from you your success stories on obtaining the house sits that you've been after. And some of the tips you might recommend to others out there searching for house sitting jobs. Exactly. If we've missed any tips that you've come across through experience of house sitting over the years, go ahead and add them in the comments below. My name's Air. I'm Lori. And this is Plan Free. Click the like button if you'd like to help the channel out for free. Go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Click the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out. We thank you for stopping by and watching, and we recommend you watch this video next. Good? Yeah.